Hello Sheep of the Lord Jesus, we are starting another video on our channel. And today we are going to pray the 10 most powerful psalms in the Holy Bible. I want to invite you to pray these powerful psalms from God for his life. Let's pray to bless various areas of his life. So put your faith into action together with us and be powerfully blessed by the Lord. Jesus, Psalm number S is the psalm that God defends against false witnesses and the Lord will always be your justice. We will also pray Psalm 23 for prosperity, Psalm 34 for liberation and gratitude. Additionally, we will pray Psalm number 40 which talks about God's goodness and how to learn patience. The psalm to overcome anxiety and depression and have hope in the Lord, Psalm 51 to obtain forgiveness, Psalm 91 which is well known as the psalm of protection and deliverance. Psalm 121 for help and help that comes from above and the Psalms 127 and 128 by the family. Let's begin the prayer now with Psalm number S, Lord my God, in you I trust. Save me from all who persecute me and deliver me, lest he snatch my soul like a lion, tearing it to pieces, without there is someone who will free her. Lord my God, if I have done this, if there is wickedness in my hands, if I paid evil to him who had peace with me. I once freed him who oppressed me without a cause. May the enemy pursue my soul and reach it. A. Trample my life underfoot on the earth and reduce my glory to dust. Arise, O Lord, in your wrath exalt yourself because of the wrath of my oppressors and awaken for me the judgment that you commanded. So you he will surround the gathering of peoples because of them. For turn to the heights. The Lord will judge the peoples, judge me, Lord, according to my righteousness and according to the integrity that is in me. Let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but let the righteous be established for you, O righteous God, test the hearts and the reins. My shield is from God, who saves the upright in heart. God is a righteous judge, a God who is angry every day. If man does not convert, God will sharpen his sword, he has already drawn his bow and is equipped and has already prepared deadly weapons for him and will put his flaming arrows into action against the persecutors. Behold, he is in pain of wickedness, he has devised works and produced lies. He dug a well and made it deep and fell into the pit that made his work, it will fall on his head and his violence will fall on his own head. I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness, and I will sing praises to the name of the Most High Lord. This is the psalm to protect liars, slanderers, and false witnesses. Because there are people who rise up against our lives to try to slander and defame us. But know that you have a protective God who defends you from the unjust, who defends you from liars. He is powerful, Lord is a righteous judge, and brings justice to all those who do you harm because he is powerful to do so. Psalm 23, the psalm of prosperity, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures, he guides me gently beside still waters. He refreshes my soul, he guides me along the paths of righteousness for the sake of his name. Even if I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I would fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord for long days. Psalm 23 is also a well-known psalm that talks about the presence of God as our shepherd in our lives. The shepherd gives his life for his sheep. He knows each one of them and the sheep obey the power of his voice. The psalmist is telling you and me that when the Lord is with us, we will lack nothing. He makes us lie down in green pastures and guides us beside still waters, providing abundant life. He refreshes our soul and knows how to calm us. He speaks to us and is always present in our awakening. By his infinite love, he assures us that even if we pass through the valley of the shadow of death, we should not fear any evil, for he is with us. His rod and his staff comfort us. Therefore, we should not walk in fear, for God is with us in our lives wherever he wants us to go. The Lord will always be with us. We must remain faithful to Him, walking and obeying His voice, and we will certainly be blessed. Psalm 34, Psalm of Liberation and Gratitude I will praise the Lord at all times. His praise will be in my mouth continually. My soul will boast in the Lord. The meek will hear Him and be glad. Magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt His name together. I sought the Lord and He answered me. He freed me from all my fears. 
They looked at him and were enlightened, and their faces were not confused. This poor man cried out, and the Lord heard and saved him from all his troubles. The angel of the Lord camps surround himself with those who fear him and deliver them. Taste and see that the Lord is good, blessed is the man who trusts in him. Fear the Lord, you his saints, for those who fear him lack nothing. The children of lions need and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord will lack no good. Come, children, listen to me, I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is the man who desires life and wants long days to see good? Guard your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceitfully. Depart from evil and do good, seek peace and follow it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are attentive to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil to uproot their memory from the earth. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears them and delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the brokenhearted. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him from them all. He keeps all your bones, not even one of them is broken. Malice will kill the wicked and those who hate the righteous will be condemned. The Lord redeems the souls of his servants, and none of those who trust in him will be condemned. In this psalm, the psalmist teaches us to praise the Lord at all times and to extol his name continually. He encourages us to seek the Lord, for he is our refuge and the source of deliverance from all our fears and anguish. The Lord is attentive to the righteous, but his face is against those who do evil. The righteous may go through many afflictions, but the Lord will deliver them from them all. He protects and guards those who serve him and trust him. This psalm encourages us to fear the Lord, to guard our tongues from evil, and to do good, seeking peace. Those who have a broken and contrite heart find refuge in the Lord. Psalm 40, which talks about God's goodness and patience. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he bent down to me and heard my cry. He brought me out of a horrible lake, out of a miry pool, and set my feet upon a rock, and made my steps firm, and set a new song in my mouth, a hymn to our God. Many will see this and will fear and trust in the Lord. Blessed is the man who puts his trust in the Lord and does not respect the proud nor those who turn aside to lies. Many are, O Lord my God, the wonders which thou hast wrought for us, and thy thoughts cannot be numbered before thee. If I would declare them and speak of them, they are more than can be counted. Sacrifice and offering thou didst not desire, you opened my ears, you did not demand burnt offering and sin offering. Then I said, Behold, I come, in the scroll of the book it is written of me. I delight to do your will, my God, yes, your law is within my heart. I preached righteousness in the great congregation, behold, I did not bridle my lips, O Lord, thou knowest. I have not hidden your righteousness within my heart, I have proclaimed your faithfulness and your salvation, I have not hidden your kindness and your truth from the great congregation. Do not take away your tender mercies from me, Lord, may your kindness and your truth always keep me. Because evils without number have surrounded me, my iniquities have bound me so that I cannot look up. They are more numerous than the hairs on my head, so my heart fails. Deign, Lord, to deliver me, Lord, hurry to my aid. Let those who seek my life to destroy it be ashamed and confounded. Let those who wish me harm be turned away and ashamed. Let those who say to me be devastated because of their shame. Ah, oh! May all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you, and let them that love thy salvation say continually, May the Lord be magnified. As for me, I am afflicted and needy, the Lord will take care of me. You are my help and my liberator, do not hold back, O oh my God. This psalm tells us about the patience of waiting on the Lord, trusting in his plan and timing. The psalmist recognizes the wonders that God worked in his life and how he got him out of difficult situations. He expresses his delight in doing God's will and proclaiming his righteousness, faithfulness, kindness, and truth. The psalmist recognizes his iniquities and calls for the Lord's help. He asks that those who desire evil be put to shame, while those who seek God should rejoice and magnify him. In the end, he places his trust in God as his help and deliverer. Psalm 51 is known as the Psalm of David, the Psalm of Forgiveness. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your loving kindness, blot out my transgressions. According to the multitude of your mercies, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and that my sin is always before me. Against you, against you alone, have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified when you speak and pure when you judge. 
Behold, I was formed in iniquity, and in sin my mother conceived me. Behold, you love truth in the innermost part, and in secret you make me know wisdom. Purify me with hyssop, and I will be pure. Wash me, and I will be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and joy, so that the bones you broke may enjoy. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me, O God, a pure heart, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me out of your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Give me joy again in your salvation, and sustain me with your voluntary spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners will turn to you. Deliver me from blood crimes, O God, God of my salvation, and my tongue will praise your righteousness. Open, Lord, my lips and my mouth will sing your praise. For you do not desire sacrifices, otherwise I would give them, you do not delight in burnt offerings. The sacrifices to God are the broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart you will not despise. O God, do good to Zion according to your good pleasure, he builds the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will delight in the sacrifices of righteousness, in burnt offerings and in burnt offerings. Then bulls will be offered on your altar. Psalm 91 is known as the psalm of protection and deliverance. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my God, my refuge, my fortress, and in Him I will trust. Through Him He will free you from the fowler's snare and from the harmful pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will trust. His truth will be your shield and buckler. You will not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor of the destruction that destroys at midday. A thousand will fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not reach you. Only with your eyes will you behold and see the reward of the wicked for you, O Lord, are my refuge in the Most High. You have made your dwelling, no harm will befall you, nor will any plague come to your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will bear you up in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the snake, you will trample the son of the lion and the serpent under your feet. Because he loved me so dearly, I also will deliver him, I will put him in high retreat, because he has known my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble, I will take him out of it, and I will glorify him. I will satisfy him with long days, and I will show him my salvation. Psalm 121 is the psalm of divine help. I will lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot waver. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he shall not slumber, neither shall the guard of Israel sleep. The Lord is the one who keeps you. The Lord is your shadow at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil, he will guard your soul. The Lord will guard your entrance and your exit from now on and forever. Amen.